today I realized my privilege. Um, I'm not confronted very much racially where I am. Um, it, in the sense that other races, th there isn't the issues that are in, I don't see the issues that are in America and other places or like South Africa and so on around me. Um, and I always date interracial, always, I've always dated interracial. And I hate to to detest. I detest saying interracial because it's like I'm. It's the human race, so yeah. But yeah, I date other nationalities always, but not in that. I've discovered today my privilege. I <laughs> I never realized I was watching my neighbor. She literally, the house they live in, it's tiny. And she literally didn't even have um, time alone when she was lining her washing outside. In that house, there is always, there is never anyone alone. There is always two, three people. They're always talking. They're always cooking together, eat it, eating together. I don't see anyone ever alone in that house. And it hit me. I, I Again, you just don't know what you don't know. It hit me, the luxury that I had. Because we look at other, the people that know less than us and we have opinions about that. But as I was looking at her, I'm, I'm very selfish with my time and the most expensive thing to me, like even when I was working for somebody else, I would say, dude, it's really quiet here. If I can take 50 out of my pay, I'm going ice skating or I'm going sunbathing or I'm going swimming. I can't be bothered um, clocking hours for fuck all reason. I'd rather have, to me, time is precious, really, to me, time is money in the sense that it's more, it's more valuable to me than money. So I've always had time to read, time to form critical thinking, time to debate, time. I had the luxury of time. And because it's not really something considered abundance when you talk uh, when I say abundance everyone goes directly to money no one ever sits and thinks at the luxury of time and also I I see with the lockdown and with this bullshit that's happening and so on that many people don't know what to do with their time honest to God lockdown or not I could be in my home if I could uh, Back in New Zealand, I was ordering my groceries. They came to my garage. If here I could order my groceries, I swear I would not leave the house. I can stay easily in the house three, four months undisturbed. Um, I've got training equipment here. I've got air, fresh air. I have a beautiful view, etc., etc. So to me, staying at home is not a problem, but I hear over and over again how people um, top themselves really because of this um, they can't handle being alone and I never ever understood it but when I watched this woman today and I was just kind of looking back and thinking fuck man she doesn't have she doesn't have time if she doesn't have time you can just imagine from her five six kids um, childhood with brothers and sisters she ended up married she popped them like popcorn immediately because that's the requirement in so many traditions um 
and she's never been she's never been alone what what philosophy what thought what reading when so her thinking is just what we cooking when we fucking what we shitting that's the extent of and who broke their leg and who needs a band-aid and who does the shopping and who pay i mean that's not thinking that's not the thinking i'm and i was just thinking fuck you know i never realized until today the privilege and it's a privilege the privilege of time and not only that of time but to know what to do with time and also to have enough <sighs> how can I say not just vocabulary but to be exposed to concepts because how can you think and this is why so many people in prison uh, or again when they are withdrawn from their pack they don't know what to do with themselves and to me that's so foreign that's so so foreign and I never really thought how foreign it was until today and that the fact that I can formulate critical thinking, the fact that I can listen to my intuition, the fact that I can critically think, the fact that I can form an opinion that it's mine, the fact that I can meditate and have concepts with, with which to think, and tools and words and the fact that I was a single child, an only child I had no siblings um, had that in itself, the luxury that it was my God, I would not change it for the world that's why I chose to um, marriage was definitely not for me and absolutely kids were not for me um, because my time is so valuable to me I would not uh, no I would not conceive having my time owned by some little junior son of a bitch um, at all it's not something I would ever accept and I've known that all along so I knew not to drag anyone into this and then um, blame them for it and be a mother probably worse than I, my mom wa was because she was miserable as a mother my god she was miserable wow so I understand the the not being made for shit like that But the luxury of time and the luxury of intellect and books and time to read, I never put it together until today. This was this the fact that I am literally privileged for having been a an only child to have time to think, to have time for me. To have the choice and the time for me. Like this woman has no life of her own. It's no wonder if, if, if her status quo stops. She has no concept of who she is. But I didn't realize until today that that's the norm. And that's why society is the way it is. And that's why... They don't know what to do in lockdown. They don't know what to do alone. They don't know what to do without the pack. They don't know how to think. They swallow whatever it's told. They wear they ma <laughs> their masks like it's a muzzle. And they think they're actually doing their good boys and girls. Like, that's just astonishing. But to me, I mean... I'm not gonna get in this debate, but my God, I mean, to think that a mask stops you from getting or delivering a virus, that's just beyond dumb, my God. Um, my God, I mean, the fact that this pandemic has worked, it's, 
just showing to me the state of humanity and the state of humanity is at this stage so this f hoax could work is because how can you expect a society that's constantly busy breeding and 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 um, entertaining uh, the people around them and being what they're expected to be how can this is the society can't think so how can we expect they can they can uh, read their little 10 books and regurgitate it and and somewhere in a cereal box they may get a diploma or another but i've seen people with five five universities they are as dumb as a fucking brick they're good parrots but that's about it they they vomit back whatever they swallowed but that's about it. That's not, to me, that's not intellect. To me, that's just education. And intelligence with regurgitation is not the same thing. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've realized today the extent of my privilege. Um, beyond, beyond uh, gender. And I feel very privileged to be wo a woman as well. I'm not... Um, at all um, uh, there are a number of, of issues that other people talk about that I don't I've never experienced um, but yeah privilege privilege of uh, beyond color I'm talking about the privilege of thought the privilege of time the privilege of time, the privilege of time, the privilege of freedom and time over, over my life, my resources, but most particularly my time, the privilege of time. Wow, there is nothing more precious than my me time to think, to journal, to meditate, to think, to journal, to meditate to analyze what I've read, to study things and digest them to my own satisfaction and not just uh, ingest information. This is a privilege that um, I've chosen in a way because I've chosen not to fall for this um, social crap with the marriage, this... this um, new form of slavery that's that's um that's in the form of marriage and um bearing children and all that bullshit and um i've also chosen um i've gotten out of systematic education because it's just ridiculous you have a moron deciding whether you've done you're worthy of a good mark or not and i just could not comply to that um, but I learn and study every day, absolutely every single day, and that is a privilege. I've realized today the huge privilege that is time, having time and being able to use it with thoughts and concepts and having words for thoughts and concepts. Also, because I speak so many languages, I know how many things cannot be translated exactly in some other languages and the languages in themselves enriched me but yeah thoughts of the day <laughs>